Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the idea of null and alternative hypothesis. If you want to know why hypothesis testing is required, the video is already there on my YouTube channel. The link is given in the description. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to find more videos on statistics, SPSS and R Studio, econometrics and economics. So let's begin with the introduction. The very first step of hypothesis testing is to define null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is also known as statistical hypothesis and it is denoted by H0 or HN. Now, what do we mean by null hypothesis? A null hypothesis is a statement or preposition about a population parameter and not sample statistic. Please keep in mind that null hypothesis is always about population parameter. Now, the null hypothesis is assumed to be true unless we have significant evidence to reject it. So at the end of the hypothesis testing, we either reject or we fail to reject. Right? So it is assumed to be true unless we have significant evidence to reject it. As I said, it is denoted by H0 or HN. So null hypothesis says that there is no effect or no difference between population parameter and sample statistic. Now let's understand the idea of alternative hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis is the opposite statement of null hypothesis and denoted by H1 or HA also known as research hypothesis. So alternative hypothesis says that there is an effect or difference between population parameter and sample statistic. Both the null and alternative hypothesis should be stated before any statistical test or significance is conducted. So whether you conduct t-test or f-test or uh, chi-square test or regression analysis, you need to specify the null and alternative hypothesis before you conduct the statistical test. And we always test null hypothesis. We never test alternative hypothesis. Let's understand it with the help of example. Suppose our population parameter is theta 0 and sample parameter is theta 1. Population parameter is theta 0 and sample parameter is theta 1. Now, what is null hypothesis? There is no effect or no difference. An alternative hypothesis says that there is an effect or difference. So, how do you frame the null hypothesis? So, the null hypothesis says that theta 0 is equal to theta 1 or there is no significant difference between sample statistic and population parameter. An alternative hypothesis says that both are not equal. So theta 0 is not equal to theta 1 and therefore we have the significant difference between sample statistic and population parameter. Let's take real life example. Suppose we are interested to know the average height of class 12 students. So the statement says that the average height of class 12 students is 5.8 inches. So here it is possible to test scientifically. The answer is yes. Can you re-verify? Can you verify it? Can you retest this? The answer is again yes. Is it measurable? Yes. So if you have these three qualities, you can convert the null hypothesis, you can convert this statement into null hypothesis. Right? All statements cannot be converted into null hypothesis. So here, what is our null hypothesis? The null hypothesis says that the average height of class 12 is not statistically significantly different from 5.8 inches. Right? Because our null hypothesis shows no difference or no effect. Or in other words, you can say the average height of class 12 is 5.8 inches. And what is alternative hypothesis? We have the difference. That means the average height of class 12 is statistically significantly different from 5.8 inches or 
the average height of class 12 is not 5.8 inches. Let's take another uh, statement. William met Jesus Christ yesterday. Now, can you convert this hypothesis into null hypothesis? The answer is no, because it is not possible to test scientifically. You cannot be uh, re-verified or retested, and it is not measurable. And therefore, this statement cannot be converted into null hypothesis. Now, if you fail to reject the null hypothesis, that does not mean that null hypothesis is true. So there is no formal outcome that says accept H0. We always say we fail to reject H0. Right? It only means that we do not have sufficient evidence to support our alternative hypothesis or to reject our null hypothesis and therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So this is the idea of null and alternative hypothesis. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.